human rights. His relation, the new future. It's summertime, but that's no reason to stop representing support service providers here in Brussels. On the 27th of June, ESPD and nine partners of the European Mentoring and Social Care Project hosted the seminar Growing Your Own Skills, Needs and Challenges of the European Social Care Workforce. We can't continue doing what we are doing now. I'm really sure that we have to shift to different roles. We might uh, should consider uh, and reflect on our education program. How is this basic essential uh, aspect are incorporated in it? The event was held at the European Economic and Social Committee to present the results of the project, which over the last three years has delivered support for the role of mentors in social care. It's uh, important to make these kinds of projects more sustainable, um, which is of course linked to the fact that it should not only be rely on project funding, but it should be structurally embedded in the organization, uh, this kind of uh, mentoring culture. More guidance to give uh, young people an idea of uh, where they can maybe expect to see themselves uh, within the sector. People with uh, disabilities and give them the power to say, we, are, uh, we have these problems, how can uh, you solve it? Or, or how can we solve it together? Relevant Statistics was showcased as we listened to the testimonies from Hungary, Romania, Cyprus and Portugal. One day after, ESPD also participated in an event on integrated care, organised by the Coalition for Health, Ethics and Society, where we discussed how to provide more patient-centred and sustainable healthcare. So integrated care is the way forward because it empowers people, it allows people to keep control over their own life and it is uh, in the long run also more uh, efficient use of public resources. Summer has arrived here in Brussels and although for many the holidays have already begun, support services are providing care around the clock. As these services continue to provide assistance for persons with disabilities, we will continue to support their work from Brussels.